coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Prepare yourselves. Oh, by the way, this mug is from Starbucks. A lot of you asked me about it. So many of you asked me about it. It's from Starbucks. Um, I don't think it's... I think it's new. I don't think it's like limited edition or anything. Mr. Mayam bought it for me. So um, a lot of you asked me about it. Anyway, I am so out of breath. <laughs> First of all, I'm so out of breath because I am super pregnant, but um, I went up and down stairs really fast because I wanted to make sure to have one of my favorites for you guys for this video because sometimes I hate to say, oh, it's a favorite, but it's in my purse. I wanna actually show you guys. So I ran, I ran up and down. Don't run up and down when you're in the third trimester. Not recommended. So prepare yourselves for a very excited, enthusiastic monthly favorites. You know that this is my favorite, my favorite video to film ever because I just get to talk about stuff that I love. Who does not like to listen to someone talk about stuff that they like? It's kind of, it's, it's better than watching something. I'm totally scratching my armpit in front of you guys. That's how much I trust you. <laughs> it's so much more entertaining than watching something that's like, this sucks, this sucks. Which brings me to my next point. I've been having a lot of misses lately. I mean, for every two products that I try, one of them is not very good. And so I don't know if I should start doing like a misses video or like a hits and misses video. I feel like one or two hits or misses almost two years ago when I just started my channel. Um, and I don't know, I just, you know I'm all about that positivity and love and life. And so I was like, I don't know if I really want to focus so much negative attention on stuff because then what it turns into is like a complaint fest. You know what I mean? And I don't like that. So I have had kind of bad luck with some stuff recently. And if you guys are interested, I don't know, maybe I could do some kind of video where I talk about products that really haven't worked out, but you know I'll probably put my corny spin on it where I'm like, well, it didn't work for me, but if you have XXXX type skin, maybe it'll work for you. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter or a hater. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm really excited because the last one that I did was uh, my yearly favorites. And I, there was just so much pressure and like, <sighs> mentioning what I like throughout the year and when it's just in a month I'm like oh this is very exciting because there's not that much there's not the pressure it's all the fun so the very first thing that I want to share with you guys is very expensive and I want to get it out of the way because it's awesome I actually meant to include this in my um, top favorite luxury products or products that make me feel pretty that I filmed a couple weeks ago um, and for some reason I don't know if I didn't film it or if it got lost the footage got lost I don't know but this is the Fresh Black Tea Firming Overnight Mask. This is $100. Let's just get that out of the way. That's why it was going to be in that video. Um, but it's basically a nighttime mask. So if you've ever used a nighttime mask before, you do your whole routine. You wash your face, you put on your serum, moisturizer, whatever, and then you put this on last and you go to bed. And it's a firming mask. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, your face is like pure instant facelift. It's not uncomfortable, it's not sticky, it smells good. It actually works and I've noticed that you could use it every night too. I've noticed that the more I use it, the more my face likes it. When I stop using it, I noticed that I didn't use it and I don't like that. So I hope this is not becoming a $100 addiction, but it works really well. So if you guys want to try a firming overnight mask, that might be something that you could look into. Definitely the month of complexion products. I don't know if it's because the beginning of the year is when new complexion products come out, but I'm not gonna get into too much detail because I've already talked about them enough on my channel, but the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundations are absolutely some of my top favorite foundations at the moment. I've reviewed both of them for you guys, so I will link them in the description box below. But so many of you have asked me, Danny, Danny, which one do you prefer? Pick one. I love them both. And what I would say is if you have very oily skin, go for this one. If you have normal to oily skin, go for this one. This one gives you a, a softer matte finish than this one. This one is like a matte, like <laughs> a super matte finish, especially if you use it in combination with the powder. Um, coverage wise and things like that, I think they're pretty similar, but I prefer this one because it gives you more of a natural finish. 
It's still matte, but it's a little bit more natural. It doesn't look so, so, so matte. Not to mention this is a little bit more liquidy, a little more runny. This one's a little bit more moussey or gel-like. So that might be something that you like or don't like or wanna consider. I personally like really runny foundations. Even though they're messier, I just like applying liquidy foundations a lot more. So I've been loving those. Then, two concealers that I have been loving are the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. It looks like the foundation just like in miniature version. Isn't that cute? It's like a miniature foundation. No. <laughs> so this is a new product from Urban Decay. I don't know if it's out in retail stores yet. Um, I bought mine from their website and I've been really, really liking it. It gives a, it's a really beautiful satiny matte finish, full coverage, but it's really great for highlighting. The thing that I like about it the most is that it's full coverage, but it highlights at the same time. So, <sighs> I got it in the color light warm and it's a little bit too light for me so if I wanted to conceal dark circles it's not the most appropriate shade um, it's a lot it's a lot more suitable for doing like the upside down triangle or for highlighting areas of my face but because it's so thick or full coverage and I don't mean thick like like the it cosmetics one that's thick this one is thick as in full coverage but not like um greasy or sticky or very emollient it does dry you know on its own um it does cover it does have enough coverage to cover your panda eyes if they're not too too severe so i've been loving that one and this one from the drugstore i didn't think i was gonna like it so much but i absolutely love it the when wild fergie one i absolutely did not like it whatsoever not anything not a, not any part of it did i like this one from maybelline the master conceal camouflaging concealer is amazing it's creamy and it's thick, but it's not so thick where you can't use it in your under eye or on your under eye area. The powder that I've been loving is also new from Urban Decay, and this is their powder foundation. It is a brand new product, and it's supposed to have a new technology that blurs your imperfections, makes your face look more radiant and highlights, but it is a demi-matte finish. It's a powder foundation, so it doesn't need to be used in combination with a liquid foundation. It can be used on its own, but let me tell you my secret. If you use the Naked Skin Foundation, and the Naked Skin Concealer, and then just lightly use this as a setting powder, I promise you people will ask you, what the heck do you have on your face? Because your face is going to look flawless. And I don't mean matte, crazy, super like stone-like matte flawless. No, it's going to look like she has a perfect face. Like her face is perfect. And you're gonna, you know, and it, I didn't really, I didn't really wanna believe it until I would like walk by my reflection and be like, whoa, what foundation am I wearing today? And then it was like, oh, it's that secret combination. But don't share my panda secret. This is my, this is my new magic recipe for a flawless face. It's all the Urban Decay Naked Skin products all thrown into one, but, but I will have to say this, this one, if it's not out in stores yet, don't order it online because the names are very tricky to match. It's not what you would think. I'm usually um, neutral undertones um, and I had to get the light warm. And the light warm concealer is really, really fair, like really bright and fair. The light warm foundation is perfect for me and I thought I was going to be the light neutral and then that one does not match me at all. So wait until it comes to Sephora or like your JCPenney and then swatch it. And I promise you when you swatch it, you're gonna be like, oh, it's like a butter powder. <laughs> I don't know if that Urban Decay powder foundation is, uh, it's called Ultra Definition powder foundation. I don't know if it's that magical on its own or if it's because I've been using this brush. These brushes are getting a lot of heat. In fact, my review is getting a lot of heat because they're like, oh, you know, they're too expensive. You can't use the coupon, blah, blah, blah. I understand. I mean, it's hard to assimilate that such an affordable drugstore brand like Real Techniques is then going to launch a higher-end luxury product designed for professionals, you know? So 
I don't know, some of the some of the brushes are awesome, some of them aren't really necessary, but this brush, I've never used a powder foundation that has sides to it. So it's flat on one side, you see what I mean? It's like domed and then flat, so you can decide how to, it's almost like, um, it doesn't waste powder. It's, there's no dome, there's no buffing required. You basically just kind of smooth it onto the face and oh Lord, I could do this all day. I'm gonna be like, Mr. Man, you wanna get romantic? Just rub my face with this brush. <laughs> That's how nice it feels. Oh, I love this brush, you guys. So in combination, those two, the powder and this, oof, loving it. Now let's talk about, what should we talk about? Lip products. Lip products, I have a couple and it's weird because I used to name like a trillion lip products in my favorites and then I was like, you know what? You need to kick back and take it easy. Your pandas don't have that much money or room on their list to add stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> so these are my favorite lip products of the month and they're five. I think this many products made that big of an impression on me this month, but I guess they did. The first one that I wanna talk about is actually Max Prep and Prime. And I was telling my friend Samantha that I love using long wearing lip colors the one step kind, not the two step. And um, my lips have been a little bit, they haven't been as hydrated and as juicy because we're in the winter. So I was like, what do you use so that your lips don't look ratchet halfway through the day? And she's like, oh, the only thing that I've used that works is Max Prep and Prime for lips. And I've always thought that lip primers are kind of a gimmick. I just thought, oh, it's just the regular chapstick. This one is not a regular chapstick. You put it on, it applies like a regular chapstick, but it kind of has three phases. You put it on and it's smooth, then it turns really sticky, uh, and then you wait a little bit longer and then it feels like you're wearing a base coat. That's the best way that I could describe it. It feels like you're wearing a base coat. Like when you put on a base coat on your nails and you're like, my nails aren't naked, I know there's something on there, but you can't really see it. That's exactly what this does. It kind of smooths out the lines on your lips, and then whenever you put on anything else, it prolongs the wear of whatever you're wearing, it doesn't bleed, it just, it makes everything look a lot more smoother and flawless, and it keeps your lips hydrated underneath. It's almost like it creates a barrier or a seal. So whenever you wear like a Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, it's not going to just suck out the life of your lips. So I've really been liking that. Then, um, speaking of lip care and lip products, I tried a couple of products from a brand called Carmindy, from one of those home shopping network brands, and uh, I've actually been really happy with several of the products that I've tried, but this is the one that made the biggest impact. This is called the Kiss me lip butter in rose passion and I'm not a fan of tinted lip balms usually that's what my Holly lipstick is for she loves her lip balms I'm not a big fan but this one is really pretty I could put this on without any makeup and it makes me look just so awake perky pretty like I just like I gave myself a little cat like a little cat bath you know what I mean like I, I took care of myself a little bit it just gives your lips such a beautiful shine natural rosiness to them without looking like a wannabe lipstick lip balm so I've actually really been liking that I I, I want to make emphasis on it because I didn't think I would like it and I really like it the next one is a lip gloss from covergirl from the new lip lavas and this is in the shade uh, look, it's lava. I wore it in several of my videos. A lot of you really liked it. The lip gloss is awesome. The formula is awesome. The color is awesome. The applicator sucks bananas. Like, it is awful. I hate it so much. It's so hard to put on. I wish they would change the applicator. Um, but the color, oh, you guys. It's like electric, metallic, fuchsia, magenta goodness. But the applicator itself, it's it's a brush. It's not a doe foot applicator, but it's like kind of stiff and stiff, but they have like a like a weird texture to them or I don't know what it is, but I mean you want to put your lip gloss here and it'll put it here. And you want to put your lip gloss here and it'll put it here. Like it just it has a mind of its own and it's so hard to apply. So it takes you like 30 minutes to apply this lip gloss. Two more and we're done with lip products. This is the Total Intensity Total Wear Lip Crayon in Berry With Me. This is a recommendation from my friend Laura from Mrs. Lola Lynn. Oh you guys, this is a drugstore product 
and it will absolutely change your life. I wore this in an Instagram post, so if you guys want to see what it looks like on my lips, I'll link it in the description box below. It is creamy. It's not drying. It doesn't bleed. It's one of those really pigmented, really berry lip colors that's not going to get all over your face after a couple hours, and I could really appreciate that. Plus, it's a chubby crayon. Who doesn't love chubby crayons? I love chubby crayons, especially the twist-up kind. So, Chubby Crayon from Ulta, it's the Prestige brand. And then my last one I mentioned in my luxury products video, this is the YSL Tint in Oil number eight. I think I mentioned number six in that video, which means I got another one. <laughs> and this is number eight. It has almost like a purpley pink hue to it. And when you swatch it, it just looks clear. But as it, it wears on your skin, it gets a little bit darker and a little bit darker. Again, I wore this on Instagram, so I will link the post down below so that you guys could see a lip swatch of it. It does not look like that on the lips. It looks like you're wearing a clear berry lip gloss, a comfortable one. And I know oil sounds weird and it sounds uncomfortable, but it really isn't. It's such a, when you put this product on, you just feel like, fancy and pretty. It's definitely not for everybody and I could not justify the price but it was kind of one of those purchases where you're like okay well I guess I'll treat myself twice. <laughs> so I've been really see it's getting a little bit darker do you see? It's like a magic one. There's kind of like a common thread between these four lip colors can't you see? It's like all pinkish pinkish berry hot pink type colors products and we're done. The first one is from Zoya and I got this in my um, Allure Sample Society box. This is a Zoya nail polish in the color Tiana. I'm wearing it on these three fingers. It's just such a beautiful classic mint color and the formula is actually really good. I've never had issues with Zoya but I don't really have a lot of experience with Zoya. I have like two other Zoya colors so I really like it. It's it's really creamy, you only need two coats, and it dries really shiny. I still put a top coat over it, but it actually dries really shiny. So I know sometimes people are like, top coat? Ain't nobody got time for that. So that one dries really shiny if you're looking for that. Last product is from Urban Decay, and this is one of their, oh, I knew I was gonna forget. Moonstone, Moonstruck pieces of moon. You know those special eyeshadows that they have that are like amazing duochrome, magic, majestic, unicorn, baby tears type eyeshadows. Um, and these are permanent, but they had already eight in the collection, I believe, and then they launched four new colors. So when the new colors came out, I was like, sign me up. I have a picture on my Instagram where I'm wearing this eyeshadow, and I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. It is absolutely beautiful. It's in the color Solstice, and if you can tell, it's a duochrome. It's almost like a berry maroon duochrome with a little bit of turquoise. It is so hard to describe. I really hope the swatch will do it justice. Do you see my finger? You need it, basically. Basically what I'm saying is you need this eyeshadow in your life. It is absolutely beautiful. I put it all over my lid and I was like, holy mother, where have you been all my life? It's right there. So I kind of like to pack it on and then after I pack it on maybe twice, I will apply it with a wet brush even more on top and it's just, it looks like it looks on my finger. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh. <laughs> That is it for my monthly favorites. Like always, I'm going to take the time to list, price, and link all of these products in the description box below. I'm also going to link some videos of reviews of these products that I've already done or some pictures from Instagram where you could see um, either like a lip swatch or the eyeshadow that I was telling you about. So you can kind of get an idea of how it would look or the finish of it. I love to make sure that you guys are able to see it kind of in action or what it looks like. So I'm gonna link all that stuff down below. I know a lot of you don't take the time to read the description, but promise you, I promise you, it's a really valuable asset. So check the description box below for all the details of what I'm wearing or links to all the products that I mentioned. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already and until next time this coffee break is over bye guys